Good morning and happy hump day, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for May 24th, 2023. Well, Doug, on it yesterday, we had a little bit of selling come in uh, on the market. Um, well, I say dog on it if you're a bull, if you're a bear, uh, it was a good day for you with a little pullback. There was a little tiny bit of technical damage. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But for the most part, just a modest pullback in, um, in the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, doggone it, um, the diamonds suffered really the only technical damage in the market yesterday. Pulling back, and as you can see, if we take a look at um, our chart here, the technical damage was a failure at the 50-day moving average. And notice that our short-term moving averages are pressing down. There's the 20, 34, 8 exponential moving average kind of pressing down on that chart. Now, if we look at the technical pattern in the chart, we also have this situation here where we have a lower high and we've now made a lower low, which continues that little uh, tiny downtrend here in uh, the diamonds. Now, you'll want to keep in mind that as we push down here toward that 200 day moving average, that could be the support area that we're looking for in price action and the um, technical um, action here in the chart. So keep an eye on that. If that were to fail, of course, that's going to be pretty dramatic. If we were to fail down through this area right in here, you can see some price support areas over here in the chart. Let me draw those in here right across that area. That would be um, a failure of pretty big circumstance and a big point move in the market. Failing through there could really draw the other indexes lower. So we'll have to keep a pretty close eye on that. And it's just the uncertainty that's going on out there about debt ceiling negotiations. Now we've got the new uncertainty of a new spread of of um you know pandemic situation in um in china um adding to that uncertainty so um and then of course those rising bond yields continuing to add pressure to the banking se sector adding some additional uncertainty as well so we'll want to keep a close eye on that um if we take a look however at our spy spy we pulled back and we gave up this um, breakout support here in the chart. But at this point in time, there really is uh, no major technical damage here in, um, in that chart, just a pullback from that breakout. However, that does require me to change this back to now show that as resistance in the chart. And the question is going to be, I think here today, if the bears continue to push, will we lose? You can see we're trying to gap down below that little upside trend. Will we lose that upside trend? Will we lose some of these support levels in the chart? So if the bears continue to find inspiration here today, then I would look um, for, uh, since we're breaking this first thing this morning, either that holds a support or we start pushing down to test the next level of support. And of course, that would be a bit of a um, painful move, I think, um, in the SPY. Now, looking at um, the bullish inspiration, if the bulls can remain inspired here, then pushing back up to retest that resistance level in the chart seems relatively likely. So we'll want to watch that carefully. Now our QQQ, well, our QQQ did dip yesterday, but barely. I, I, we did break back down below that um, area right there of um, support where we had broken through. You see that comes clear back over here. So we pulled back, but honestly, the, the tech sector is so overbought right now. A little rest or pullback would actually be a healthy thing 
for the market. So I'm going to turn this back to a resistance area in the chart, but I don't think there's anything here. There's no technical damage in the chart to really speak of. If the bulls find inspiration, well, let's look for them to re-attack this area up here and maybe push through and even attack the resistance of those highs. If the bears find inspiration, well, about the only support that we have in this because we just have exceeded that we just continue to stretch and stretch and stretch here in the QQQ is a pretty painful pullback coming back into this area here. So we could see that pullback back to this trend. And again, that would probably be a healthy move for the NASDAQ. Now we don't want to see it just drop. Um, if it took two or three days to come into there, that would be a more palatable situation. But let's keep a close eye on that as these uncertainties continue to plague the market. Now, having said that, these uncertainties, if we suddenly hear about a debt ceiling deal, we could get a tremendous relief rally that comes in very fast that's a possibility so you want to be keeping your eyes to some of these news events out there because when it occurs boy it could just rip your face off if you're short the market um, um, with a bounce back up of course the opposite is true if for some reason we were to get some kind of uh, news saying that hey we're getting farther away deals not happening it's not coming together well then we could get our face ripped off here um, if you're overly long and uh, the market really starts to sink. And of course, if we get some of those rating agencies and they have threatened this, rating agencies, as long as this continues to linger on, they could downgrade the U.S. economy um, as a result. So um, that would also probably bring in the bears and really have them show their teeth. So we'll want to watch carefully for those news events to occur. Anything is possible here. If we take a look at our Russell, IWM continues to be the weakest of the indexes. We've been stuck in this range for a long time. We rallied up yesterday, tagged that um, resistance area in the chart, and then reverse shooting star uh, candle pattern, showing a little bit of uh, follow through bearishness here this morning. We'll see if that follows on through. What's really going to be interesting here in IWM is to see how it deals with that 50 day moving average. Are we going to hold it and bounce off of it or are we going to fail back through that again? We'll want to watch that close. Let's take a peek at our VIX yesterday. Our VIX did rally here we had a little fear coming into the market it really wasn't major at all there was no panic in it that's for sure and we rallied back up and we broke through that 18 handle in the chart so if the um, bears continue to make that push well then let's look and see where we might go from there the next resistance level up here would be right up in that area right in here where we've got all these wicks and and, and a few tails over here that's probably the next area up there around 19 or 20 is uh, the next potential upside move if the bears are inspired if the bulls um, get re-inspired well I would suggest we pull back um, into this range and maybe we're testing this support level here again if we take a look at our T2122 well uh, this has been kind of the story for some time here in um, in our market is we just continue to stay ranging around this mid area of the chart. We can't seem to get things going. There's l almost no momentum in the market at all right now. And um, what we what we can see from T2122 is if the bulls find inspiration, we have plenty of upside opportunity for that. If the bears continue to find inspiration, we have plenty of downside opportunity for those. So um, your guess is as good as mine here, which way this is going to go based on the way the data comes out. Then let's take a look at our uh, T2108. Now T2108 lost a little ground yesterday, but nothing changed here on Honestly, 42% um, uh, of the stocks, maybe 43% of the stocks in that range holding above their 40 day moving average. We continue to wind up in this wedging pattern. Really nothing has changed here. We continue to stay trapped between a support level and a resistance level in this chart. So um, 
not much has changed here. If we look at our T2107, very much the same thing. We declined just a little bit here, uh, about 40, 41% of the stocks holding above their 200-day uh, moving average. And as you can see, we continue to deal with this head and shoulders topping pattern, that possibility that that could come into play. Um, um, we continue to stay stuck between resistance and support. So nothing really happening here. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, I think this really tells the tale about what's going on here in the market. Notice for so long we've been running in these momentum numbers up here with market breadth, really high spikes in market breadth. And, and notice here that we're trapped down in this area and the trade, the breadth of the market is dismal. Um, not much happening here. We keep um, switching just about every day. One, one of the things that might be a little encouraging if you're a bear is that we kind of had a follow through day to the downside. Um, we haven't seen too many days where we have um, actually followed through in the same direction um, in two consecutive days. So um, watch that closely um, unless we get some inspiration here. Um, momentum is just um, dying on the vine at the moment. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar has a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to, but honestly, it's kind of a light economic day. Um, you'll notice in here we have uh, mortgage applications uh, coming out this morning. We've got um, State Street Investor, which nobody's going to care about. We've got um, the petroleum status number that could be interesting based on you know talks that um, OPEC may once again cut production um, and we're seeing that a little bit of resiliency in that price trying to bounce back up here in the oil sector so watch that one closely could um, be important for the day in fact I would say the oil sector was one of the bright spots of the market yesterday if we um, take a look we've got some uh, bond auctions here to pay attention to we've got uh, Waller speaking here today and then at 2 p.m. we're going to get the FOMC minutes now for me, it's hard to believe we're going to learn anything more um, after just one Fed speaker after another telling us that, hey, we're not done. Um, we're going to hold the line, uh, maybe even rate increases. I don't know that we're going to get anything new out of that. But as normal, we're going to be all pensive waiting for this report to come out, for those minutes to come out. And then um, you can expect some kind of volatility um, around that. Um, uh, then as we progress, as soon as we get past that, everybody's going to be thinking about the GDP tomorrow morning and those jobless claims. Those are big potential market movers um, here that we'll want to be paying attention to tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today. Now our earnings calendar, we've got more on the earnings um, calendar today to deal with. So I'm going to run through these really, really quickly. Um, we're going to hear from um, Abercrombie, a lot of retail in here, Abercrombie, AEO, ADI, APPS, CRMT, DY, GES, KSS, MOD, WOFF, WOOF, sorry, um, PLAB, PLCE, PATH, SNOW, and SPLK. And last but not least, um, after the bell, the market mover of the day is going to be NVIDIA. Um, that'll be um, a pretty substantial notable here this afternoon that has the potential to move the market. So pay attention uh, for that NVIDIA report um, later on today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click the subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon 
when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, and that's click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. I do truly, truly appreciate it, and I want to wish you um, all the very best today. Um, um, in your trading as we progress through this really uncertain time here in the market. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to really have to be careful here in the market because one news report could make a massive change in the market, create a huge whipsaw, create um, a lot of volatility. So be prepared for that and be watching closely here in the market. Now for some stocks setting up, one of the things that I do think is interesting is in the casino sector, we've been loving the casino sector here for a long time. Well now, um, everything's kind of falling apart here in that casino sector. Um, and that's uh, part of that reason is that is this new uh, variant strain um, um, breakout across China and what that's going to mean here in that gambling sector. Wind Casino moving sharply lower yesterday, breaking down in that chart, um, creating a lower high and a lower low. We're running in a downtrend now. So any rally back in here would set up that next opportunity for a short. Uh, take a look at MGM. MGM um, also breaking down here pretty sharply. We've got that lower high creating a lower low, um, ready to break through this support area in the chart. Watch that closely as this downtrend progresses. Watch for that next higher uh, lower high for a potential entry short. Now what's interesting is although the the brick and mortar casinos seem to be running into quite a little bit of problem. If we look at um, DraftKings, DraftKings staying very, very bullish. So this resting pullback here in DraftKings seems, seems to me like a pretty decent setup. I'd be watching for that next buy signal to occur here in that chart and that rally back to the upside. I'm going to say the same about a lot of the tech um, stocks out there. Um, AMD uh, putting in a shooting star maybe a little resting consolidation a little pullback coming in here I think this need actually needs to consolidate for a while that's an awfully steep rally um, we could even see some you know more of a protracted pullback here if um, the bears really get going notice when we get these big stretches to the upside well then we just kind of wander around back down uh, trying to find those support levels. So that's also a possibility. But because of the strength and all the hype on AI, I'm going to kind of favor the idea that we're just going to rest in this area up here. So watch carefully for that next opportunity in AMD. There could be some really good opportunities there. Um, if we take a look at Microsoft, Microsoft finally getting a little bit of rest, pulling back here a bit. I think if this pulls back into some price support in the chart, we may have to rest a little bit longer here um, to come out uh, toward trend but I would be keeping an eye on that chart take a look at Google um, Google this stretch to the upside is absolutely parabolic when you uh, put this on the chart we just went going straight up in that move so in uh, um, in Google I'm kind of suggesting there could be a pretty good chance of more of a uh, pullback um, it could be a substantial pullback maybe coming back to test some of these support levels and then a longer term resting period um, on that um, just too steep for that move we've got to settle that price out a little bit here so I would watch that close but I don't think it becomes bearish here so watch that closely how about we take a look at some of the oil sector um, here in the market um, we saw we have seen some pretty good um, pops here recently in um, oil and gas stocks. So breaking down trends, moving up, breaking through some resistance levels in the chart. So any resting pullback in here, I would be looking for that next opportunity in some of these charts. APA, OXY, um, 
ConocoPhillips, a um, lot of these making that move where we're breaking through resistance, breaking through downtrends. Um, so I would look for that next opportunity for an entry to follow those trends to the upside on that energy sector. And speaking of energy, um, you might want to keep an eye on natural gas. Now, natural gas got hit the last couple of days, uh, pulling back just a little bit, but we've had quite a surge up here. And this is not an unusual thing. Um, we break through that 50-day moving average. We come back to test, see if that can hold. If we can hold some support levels in here in that chart, if we can hang on right in here, then there may be that next opportunity to the upside to follow that trend. And I am speaking from a little bit of experience on this. Um, my last trade over here in UNG was very, very similar, breaking out of this downtrend, holding that higher low. And uh, that was a very, very profitable trade. Now, I'm not saying we're going to do the same thing, but I think we do have an opportunity here that natural gas may be coming back around. Uh, clearly, we're going to continue to need natural gas in this country and countries around the world. So um, its value is not going away. Let's take, um, um, uh, well, you know what? I'm running out of time here. So um, how about we... Um, cut this off right here. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. Wish you all a productive and profitable day. And I will see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. So be careful, be safe. Watch carefully those news events that could move us dramatically. And um, I wish you all the best. Have a great day.